So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately by YouTubers that I absolutely love, but I've been noticing more and more that there is a real level of cognitive dissonance between these YouTubers and their views on veganism. So I've decided to start a series talking to these YouTubers, appealing to them, and trying to get them to think more critically about veganism and the vegan diet. And today I'm starting with Sierra Schultze. Now, I absolutely love Sierra Schultze. I love her YouTube channel, I love her body positivity, I love her like awkward nerdiness that I like really identify with, like fellow your nerds unite. And in general, I just love her kindness and compassion and just like the overall positivity that she adds to the YouTube fashion space. But of course, one thing that I do not like as much is the fact that Sierra still consumes animal products. Interestingly enough, Sierra is actually a vegetarian and it sounds to me like she's been vegetarian for a while now. Unclear to me really why she went vegetarian. It seems like maybe it's just because she thinks the taste of meat is gross, but she hasn't fully done a video that I found that fully explains why she's vegetarian. As a vegetarian, that means that Sierra eats cheese, dairy, yogurt, and eggs. It sounds like she doesn't eat eggs that often, like she doesn't really like them alone, but it does sound like she'll eat them in other foods, like in baked goods and things like that. So it's the Impossible Breakfast Sausage, which is like the plant-based meat alternative, and then cheese, and then the little biscuit, and it's supposed to have egg, but I got it without egg because I just can't stomach egg on its own. I was actually vegetarian for eight years before I went vegan, so I totally get it. Sierra is a cheese addict. I was a cheese addict. Cheese makes everything taste good. I think a lot of people really struggle with giving up cheese when they decide that they're gonna go vegan. But overall, it sounds like Sierra doesn't really find the idea of eating like cheese or eggs as gross as she finds the idea of eating meat. To which I would ask Sierra, what is the reason that you find eating meat so gross? Is it, and reasonably so, because you think the idea of eating like the dead flesh of an animal kind of disgusting? And if you feel that way, why is it okay to eat the secretions of a different animal? So if you really think about it, cow's milk is breast milk. It is cow's bovine breast milk meant for a baby cow. Chicken's eggs are literally just hen periods. They are unfertilized eggs that we eat. Just like when a woman gets her menstrual cycle, it's unfertilized eggs being released from the body. So definitely pretty gross food items if you ask me. And not only are these items super gross, but they're also really cruel and inhumane. And a lot of people, and I thought this way myself when I was a vegetarian, think that meat is the cruelest industry and that, you know, like dairy cows and chickens are just happy to give up their eggs and there's nothing wrong with it and it's totally fine. But I mean, arguably, dairy and eggs are even more cruel than the meat industry. Baby cows are taken away from their mothers sometimes the day that they're born, because of course, if a baby cow stays with the mother, then they would drink the milk that we need to put into our gallon-sized jugs and drink for ourselves. Those baby cows are often killed for real, or if they're female, then they will just be taken um, and brought back into the dairy industry and made into a, another dairy cow where they, like their mothers, will spend their entire lives being repeatedly, forcefully impregnated until they die and eventually become some kind of beef product or leather or some other byproduct of the beef industry. And unfortunately, the egg industry is no different. Female hens are forced into very small, cramped spaces in buildings or sometimes in cages, they sit in their own feces, surrounded by other, you know, horribly infected, dirty, sick chickens. They have been bred to lay an insane amount of eggs, more than sometimes an egg a day, which is completely atypical for a chicken. And it's really taxing and awful on the body. I mean, just imagine having your period 
every day for your entire life. Of course, in the egg industry, only the female chickens or the hens are useful, so when they first lay the eggs and hatch them to create the female chickens, they literally take all the baby male chicks and throw them into an industrialized grinder and grind them up alive. And if they don't do that, they suffocate the other male chicks and the chicks that they don't think will be strong enough to lay eggs. Now, as an animal lover, I know for a fact that Sierra would not condone that kind of treatment. And I don't think anybody thinks that it's okay to treat cows or chickens in such a horrible, horrendous way. I mean, just think about it like this. Sierra absolutely adores her dogs. So what if Sierra's dogs were in the same position as a cow or a chicken? And Sierra very clearly cares about her dogs, but she also cares about other animals. I mean, you can see that super clearly in this video of her dog eating a lizard. And then Bella started eating a lizard. Oh my. And it was a disaster. I was so angry. <laughs> so, what happened was, Sierra was in the side yard, I was by the pool. All of a sudden I hear her meow, Oh my gosh, Bella, no! Bella, no! Bella, drop it! So I immediately think she's eating something, which I was correct, <laughs> but I didn't want to go over there and see because I didn't want to see that. So I'm just yelling from the other side, like, what's going on? What does she have? And then she drops it, and it doesn't move. And then I'm like, ooh, ah! And then I start walking away, and then she goes and picks it up again. And then that's when you're like, make sure she spits it out! Well, I wanted to save the lizard, which we did. The lizard lived. Its tail, it did lose its tail, but... The lizard survived. I was very upset though. And like, Bruiser didn't, or Bruiser, Bella didn't eat the tail. The lizard just ditched the tail in an attempt to distract Bella. I feel like Bella, you know, if we were gonna do like the dance mom's pyramid of our family, Bella just earned herself the lowest place by trying to eat a lizard. Bella, I'm sorry, you are now at the bottom of the pyramid. It's okay, Bella. <laughs> So even though there are a million logical reasons for someone to go vegan, in Sierra's case in particular, it makes so much sense because she's very clearly an animal lover. And when it comes down to it, what is the real difference between a cow and a dog, or a pig and a dog, or a chicken and a dog? I mean, cows like to play fetch just like dogs do, pigs are smarter than dogs, and chickens like to cuddle just like dogs. And I'll give you the answer. There is no real difference. There's nothing that defines a dog versus a pig. There's nothing that sets them apart in a way that can justify us killing them and eating them. So Sierra tries to incorporate compassion and kindness into literally everything that she does. She even has a brand called confident and kind, so I know that if she knew what was going on in these industries, she absolutely would not condone it. And luckily, she already eats a lot of vegan food, so it would be pretty easy for her to make the transition, but there are a couple of health considerations that she would have to take into account, especially right now in her life, to make sure that she's making a healthy transition to a vegan diet. So one of the first concerns is that Sierra has PCOS, which is a common disease that many women have. And Sierra has actually been working specifically with a nutritionist to change her diet in a way that can reduce the symptoms of her PCOS. So this is actually a really easy fix. I mean, she's already working with a nutritionist. She could easily reach out to that nutritionist and say like, hey, I want to, I want to transition out all of the animal products in my diet. I know you've been recommending that I eat a lot of cheese and Greek yogurt and things like that. You know, what alternatives can I use that are vegan that would suffice? And I'm not a nutritionist, I don't know <laughs> about all those things, but um, I can recommend a couple of options that may or may not work for Sierra. One of them is that a quarter cup of cheese has about seven grams of protein in it, and you could easily swap that for a quarter cup of hemp seeds, which has not only more protein, but more fiber and less saturated fat. And if you added some nutritional yeast and some salt and pepper, I think it would make a really good kind of cheesy substitution topping for a lot of the meals that she's eating. Of course, for Greek yogurt, there's plenty of vegan yogurt options, and I'm pretty sure she has them available in her area. She does live in California. San Diego is a pretty vegan-friendly area. 
So I'm obviously not a nutritionist, but the point is that there are alternatives for Sierra to sub in and out, and I'm sure that after talking with her nutritionist, she could find some really good options for her that are also really good and respectful of the animals. The second health consideration is Sierra's pregnancy. So she has recently uh, revealed to her following that she is pregnant, so congratulations. Sierra. This is fantastic news, of course, and the other fantastic news is that there is literally zero research that says that eating a vegan diet can have a negative effect on you or your baby as a pregnant mom. So once again, she could reach out to her OBGYN or her nutritionist or dietitian, um, and I'm sure they could give her plenty of tips for things to eat that are high in protein, like beans, nuts, seeds, legumes, um, tofu, tempeh, there's a wide variety, including things like mock meats of foods that Sierra could eat. Um, and I also highly recommend that she check out the channel Unnatural Vegan. A Swayze from A Natural Vegan has a really long playlist where she's gone through and vlogged basically two entire pregnancies. And she focuses a lot on eating high protein, so I think that Sierra would, you know, really get a lot out of those videos. And Swayze is like a really, I don't know, like a real, honest, raw type of person, so I think Sierra would like her style too. So the dietary changes that Sierra would have to make are you know, for her, pretty simple considering that she already eats a lot of vegan food and she's already vegetarian, so she doesn't eat any meat. Um, for her, they would be very small changes, but for the animals, they would be huge. And that's why I want to encourage Sierra to go vegan. I want to educate her and others and make videos like this so that people understand that you don't have to eat what you grew up eating and that there is a kinder, more compassionate way. That being said, Sierra does have one additional hurdle that she might have to surpass, which is her husband, Stephen. Now, Stephen is like self-declared a meat lover, you know, he doesn't want to go vegetarian even, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to go vegan. But Stephen is also a huge animal lover. He loves their dogs. And he's also very kind and compassionate and very clearly loves Sierra. So I think that if she, you know, explained the truth to him, explained reality to him, uh, I think with time and some patience, he would come on board as well. So my final recommendations for Sierra and Steven and anybody else who wants to learn more about veganism is to watch the documentary Dominion. Now, if you don't have enough time to watch Dominion, it is a little bit longer. It's about an hour and a half to two hours. Then I definitely recommend that you watch Dairy is Scary by Erin Janis and this other video on the egg industry by Erin Janis. They're very, very informative videos and they're more short form, so it doesn't involve such a time commitment. And I know that you and Steven are such kind and compassionate people that you will really appreciate me pushing you to watch this documentary because afterwards, I swear, it will completely change your outlook and your life. So in closing, I just want to say no hate for Sierra. I think she's awesome. I love her channel and no hate for anybody else who eats animal products. I mean, we've all been there before. We all just don't know or aren't ready to really listen to the reality that goes on in the animal agriculture industry. But I'm just here to be an advocate for the animals in the same way that I would want the animals to advocate for me or another person to advocate for me if I was in the animal situation. And the sad reality is that it is a horrendous, terrible, hor horrible situation that these animals are in. And we can do something very simple to change it. We can just change our habits and our consumption to give them a better life.